Hello everyone, I'm your host Sakuman, welcome back to another episode of Bomberman Generation. Previous episode, we finished up Mechanical. It was kind of complex and a little bit annoying to get through, but we finished it. Today, we are moving on to Port Maje. That's how I am going to assume this thing is pronounced. Because I know of no other way to do it. Let's go! Bomb element was stolen right out from under our nose, almost literally, last episode. Today, we're going to get it back. By fighting these guys, which we have beaten plenty of times before. But now they're going to do a whole Dragon Ball Z thing and fuse into what looks like Moltres. Or Hydra Moltres. Okay, that's that's actually pretty awesome. Obviously, we're going to be wanting to use fire or... No, not fire. Water bombs for this. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Nothing too spectacular. I can just go ahead and hurt you however the heck I want. Alright. Please be at least a little bit harder than the... Re the Reaper of the Crush Bombers, as he called himself. I'm just hurting you a whole lot. Come on. That's also a cool tail, and I don't want to get too close to it. <laughs> uh, this may be the easiest boss I've ever faced in this game. Just saying. Or no, what was, uh... There were some easier ones, weren't there? What was the boss battle for Neki Moon? Okay, Neki Moon was actually harder. Oh, hey! He is making a burning rain of fire. Why am I moving? Oh. Nope. That's yours. Yeah. This was kind of lame. Sorry, dude, but you should have tried harder. Okay, there you go. You're actually doing something for once. You managed to get a hit on me. I was expecting to get to this battle and not take any damage, but nope. I was also expecting this battle to take a lot longer. And it didn't. We literally finished up this battle before the five minute mark. Okay. Yeah, that was something special. Well, we got the um, T-shaped Tetris piece. Area clear. The T-shapes are always purple, too, so I don't know. At least it's not a Sonic reference. Although the green, kind of... Nah, green is like the basic Chaos Emerald, anyway. Oh, well. Bomb element retrieved. And it filled up all of our hearts, too, so that's a nice bonus. And for some reason, destroying the Firebird destroys... Magistar? Or at least has it under a necessary need for evacuation. Necessary need. That sounds a little repetitive. And there goes Alderaan. Unnecessarily long cutscene. So the whole thing underneath was empty. Really. That seems completely unnecessary. Like, if your fortress is raided, and somebody's going through out all the top stuff, Eventually, they're going to wonder what's beneath, and if they go down, they're just going to see this big theme. It just doesn't seem to all come together very well, but you know what? Whatever. And it goes into another cutscene with the same theme. Alrighty then. There's a lot of guns on this sucker. Aren't you in space? I think your eyeball should be getting sucked out of your head or something right now. That did not seem safe. Oh, that's a cool scene. Bomberman! Bomberman! Oh, you made it! 
yeah, I opened up my communicator and then you yelled at me. Why would you think that I wouldn't make it if... Okay, whatever. A gigantic battleship? No. It can't be. The rumored Armor Joe, it's been deployed? We have no time. Bomberman, you must infiltrate the Armor Joe and retrieve the last bomb element. Well, you know, I figured I'd just let it go. I've come this far. You must... You must... I don't remember this. Also, I can see the battleship flying off in the background. <laughs> Good luck, Bomberman! Uh... What? What was that all about? So, from Magistar to... Uh, we're gonna do the whole cutscene again. Alright, that's a good introduction, but somewhat repetitive. To Armor Joe. You remember how I said that we took out that boss in like less than five minutes? Now we're like over six minutes into the episode? <laughs> uh, you know what? Whatever. Let's just go into Armor Joe and beat the game. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of this? This is the ultimate secret weapon of the Higgy Higgy Bandits! The battleship Armor Joe! I love the lip sync in here. Bomberman! <laughs> if you want the bomb element, then you must come to me! That is, if you can get this far! This is a big place. Yeah. I like how the thing on the front has a mustache too. Destroy the battleship. Actually, I was here to join the Higgy Higgy Bandits. They seem like good guys. Now, of course, I'm gonna destroy the battleship, you idiot. Hi there. Okay, so the music is continuing, which is a nice touch. Uh. I mean, this thing looks like it would be good for, like, an assault weapon or whatever. But if someone gets on board like this, you're pretty much screwed. And I really don't see how you expected me to not survive this. Okay, that's actually turning quite nicely. Boop. And now I'm tricking the gun. The gun doesn't know where to go. Uh, yeah, good job, Mr. Gun. Assuming you're a mister. Not really showing your best colors here. Stop the battleship! That's what I'm doing, you idiot! Oh my gosh. Where is my... There you are. <laughs> I'm just standing here, going through my care bombs, figuring out the one I need. Because, you know, I don't need to worry too much. I can take my time. Great battleship, guys. Isn't that thing going to... Yeah, this scene seems to be a little bit broken. Uh, what? That's a new enemy. Oh, come on! Okay, no. And blow. There we go. Uh, let's do it like this. Okay, that's... no. There we go. By the way, where is Max? Shouldn't he be in the middle of all this? Alright, you know what? There. Oops. Hey, actually, come over here. Come over here. Right over here, dude. I'm right here. Come get me, come get me, come get me. Yeah, there you go. Good guy. Nothing on the edge. Okay. Now I'm going to go do the same thing to the other side because no one's going to stop me. Right after I get rid of these guys. Because why the heck not? And one for you. And maybe some more for your friends who are out there. I know I can see you. Perfect. So rinse and repeat. Oops. Actually, not quite. There we go. Now rinse and repeat. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out so well. I still got rid of the reason why I screwed that up. 
And strangely, I've lost one and a half hearts. I mean, not so strange when you consider what I'm looking at and walking on here, but... Only one and a half hearts, or as much as one and a half hearts? Either way you look at it, it's not very much, and we're like halfway across at this point. You know, Bomberman is destructive, right? I mean, the Higgy Higgy Bandit should have sort of expected this. <laughs> Only saying. If you can get this far, oh no, what is happening to our secret plan? Our secret weapon, the secret secret. Our battleship. Okay, I was hoping that would, but no. One for you. Come on, there you go. Okay, that's not... Okay, that guy up there... It's a bit of a problem. These things seem to be timed. They're not quite timed enough. Okay, two hearts lost. <laughs> right over here, right over here. That's it, that's it. Yeah! Also, there's a heart down there, and I want that. And I can't get it now, so that sucks. Okay, I think it might be wise to go ahead and destroy this guy if he's going to be causing me all kinds of problems. Thank you. And another one for you. That is the wrong way. That is also the wrong way. There you go. Yeah, see, I'm already up here. <laughs> That's acceptable. And was there nothing else on this side? I need to double check. There was a something. Okay. No. There you go. Actually, I wonder. No. Okay. Perfect! I'm up to full health at the end of the battleship, pretty much. Actually, I can probably take advantage of this. <laughs> hey, friend! Yeah, I can. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where are you even shooting at? And these things aren't turning, so... Yeah, I'm not all that concerned at this point. Just saying. I think that one went inside of it. Pretty much. Yeah. Your secret weapon really sucks. I'm surprised you even made it here, Bomberman. Why? But praise you? Yeah! If you're brave enough, then come try to get it! Look! This is the true strength of the bomb element! It makes a good baseball! For the record, it was not that dark in the very beginning cutscene when we saw them all. Like, before we saw the title screen, I mean. So they probably warped it in some way. But, fine with me. I've got full health, I kinda need a challenge here. Their battleship wasn't all that impressive. Oh hey, it's Metroid Prime! Or... What? Maybe that's the Kirby boss. Okay, let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, cheap shot right from the beginning, fine. And I need my, um, there you are. Okay, looks like I can bump, bump. Uh, let's see, are they coming back? I feel like they're coming back. Or he's making more? Hmm, interesting. All right. That'll clip that, yeah, that'll do. Oh, wait a second. I need my light bombs for this. That's why I'm having such a hard time. Everything's in partially invisible. 
Okay. There we go. Now I've heard him. Not bad so far. He has done damage to me before I was able to do damage to him, but overall not bad so far. Okay, let's not... Yeah, not too much of a problem here, dude. Uh, would you like to try harder? You're free to do so at any time. Just saying. Okay, now you're attacking me. Like, legit attacking me. Try harder. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I get it. Where's my... No, stop attacking me so I can... Boop. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, no. Just put out the fires. And that's probably good enough. Looks like the fire is starting to respawn, though. So I do need to hurry. Not bad. Yeah, really not bad. This has not been too much of an issue. Alright, new stage. Boop. Bump. <laughs> Ooh. That was close. And what next? What next? No. Oop. Okay, he got me on that round. Ooh, close again, but not close enough. All right, final stage. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Okay, you're doing all right, I suppose. Then there's that. And are you going to do something new now? He's looking like it, but nothing remarkable. He's almost dead. Also, he's almost killed me, so yeah. Not a weak boss by any means. Oop. Let's try to avoid some of this if we can. And we're both almost dead. All right, last hit goes to me. Goes to me. Oop. There! That was actually a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. I'm going to get you for this! Team Rocket's blasting off again! <laughs> You want to touch it? I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, that wasn't the best of ideas. It will forever be a corrupt piece that can never be touched again. We must banish it to the far corners of the universe. Or, you know, we can do Deus Ex Machina. Our brother! Come back to us, brother! We need to go to Sonic's world next and make him a Super Sonic, but we can't do it without you! Or, you know, the 7th Chaos Emerald, we need him too, but uh, he's our exiled brother and we don't really like him, so... You need to come with us anyway, please? Also, we need to find our last brother. What the crap did they even do to that thing to make it turn into, like, Shadow Element or whatever? Oh, now it's all good and pretty and sparkly! But seriously, what did they do to make that thing, like, super evil or something? Isn't it supposed to be, like, the ultimate energy that no one can fathom? How would they be able to corrupt something like that? And if they were able to corrupt the ultimate energy, why would they need it in the first place? I think that's something for someone else to debate, though. Bye! Write me! And this is how the bomb elements were once again scattered into the far reaches of the universe. 
Now, whether this was their doing, there was no way for us to tell. There are infinite mysteries in this universe, which we will never be able to solve. Whether the power of the bomb element was of justice or of evil is an answer that may be determined by the way we handle our own hearts and souls. This feels rather forced, like the end of Jurassic Park 2. I guess that uh, Professor Ryan is voiced by John Hammond or something. Okay, so... That was fun, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a kid's game, and yet yeah, it is fairly easy, but it's also kind of complicated, and the Carabombs bombs really make it deep, so... Even though it's a game that you can forget about, I like to go back to this game every now and then. And I was actually wanting to do it like a year and a half ago. I'm glad I finally got around to doing it, so I can say, yes, another one crossed off my list. And I think that's all I had to say about it. I can't come up with anything else on the spot, so... Let the credits roll, I suppose. And I guess it does actually also have... Now that I think about it, what are you doing on the motor bomber? Get off that thing! That was only used for a minigame, you should not be bringing it back. Okay, whatever. I guess that... Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. That freaking motor bomber distracted me. For absolutely no reason. And now it looks like it's ripping off the end of Star Fox 64. Alrighty then! If the sun turns into Andross's face, or the uh, Armor Joe face, then I'm going to call a blatant ripoff. I guess it, the game does have a lot of replay value too for like the lightning cards and all that other stuff. And I suppose there are a couple of care bombs that you really don't need. But it's kind of fun. I, I mean, it's not a game that people are going to talk about all the time and say, have you played the single player story mode? It's wonderful! No, but like, the real interest in this game is the multiplayer. That's the same thing for all Bomberman games. You don't really play it for the story. At least I don't, and I don't know of anybody who would. But the challenges are fun. I guess that's kind of the best way to look at it when you play the story mode is to play a uh, pre-made map single player challenge to get through to the end and maybe pick up some extra stuff on the way to for bragging rights to say that you did it. I guess if you look at it that way, you can have a different opinion on the Bomberman games in general. But I had fun with this one. And I think this was actually the second Bomberman game I ever played. The first one was Bomberman 64, and I never played either of these for the multiplayer. Still, that was Bomberman Generation. Bomberman Generation. And I guess that's it. We're done. It's kind of a very sudden ending to a pretty drawn out game. Some of those levels took a long time to finish. But, uh, yeah. That was it. I guess we're done now. I'm not quite sure yet if I'll do any battle games with uh, other people. Do some versus matches or whatever. It's not something I've decided on quite yet. By the time this episode comes out, hopefully I will have something planned and hopefully upload it. But that's all I had planned. I hope that those of you who stuck around enjoyed it enough to, well, stick around and enjoy it, which I guess you kind of did, and I'm repeating myself. That's going to be the end for today, though. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for Bomberman Generation. I already got my next playthrough in mind, and it's overdue as well. Not quite as overdue as Bomberman Generation was, but definitely do. See you then, everyone. Take care. Time is an ocean in a storm.